question for some of you out there. Have you ever felt that you become like a shell of a human being around men? Like when one walks in that you don't really know, you erase your personality, become really quiet. Like maybe not all men, but certain ones for sure. No? Oh, okay. Cool, yeah, me too. <laughs> Never. I'm sure this won't be surprising to any of you, but I'm not like um, the best socially. Like my skills are a little weak. Okay, and I'm not even embarrassed about it at this point anymore. I've I've accepted that and I just embrace that that's one of my weaknesses. That's okay. But recently something happened. As I started to reveal my true personality to someone after four years of knowing them, she pointed out that I become quiet around men. And when she said that, I was like, I don't like that. That actually bothers me about myself because I realized, yeah, when there are men in the room, especially men that I don't know, or mostly men that I don't know, I get like 10 times more anxious socially. And so then that led me down a rabbit hole and my algorithms took me on a journey as well. And so today I'm going to share what I have learned about why this occurs, why some of us act this way around men. I mean, part of it is something that everyone experiences, but some of the stuff that I'll talk about is definitely a special flavor of anxiety. Maybe she's born with it. Maybe it's her upbringing and cultural slash religious conditioning. So let's keep social anxiety and social skills kind of out of this because I think it's easy to look at a woman like me and be like, yeah, oppression, that's the answer. Actually, being afraid of men is pretty normal. It's a pretty normal experience across the board. There's actually a word for it, androphobia. Mm -hmm. It's defined as an intense and irrational fear of men. And of course, when I looked this up, I saw that the fear of women is called gynophobia. So then I was like, gynecologist? Then is a man doctor androlog? It is. I digress. Anyway, there's this whole trend and debate of man versus bear. You ask a woman, picture yourself alone and unarmed in the woods. Would you rather encounter a bear or a man? The bear. 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 And most women would answer bear. You can check the comment section. You don't have to believe me. And whether that pisses you off or not, the truth is that if most women are answering that, then that's how a lot of them feel because we're not really raised or conditioned to be afraid of animals. Like you're gonna meet a, a bear in the wild and that's your biggest threat. We are conditioned, we, we are known, we know that men are more likely to be a threat in our daily lives. Like when you're walking alone in a parking lot, you're not like a bear is gonna come get me. Or when I go on runs or walks, I swear I would keep, you know, something in my pocket just in case. And the point is not that men are physically scarier than a bear, because obviously if you see a grizzly bear, like it's over. It's that women would rather take chances, take their chances with a bear doing what it does than with a man. And if you don't believe me, just Google it. Okay, there are articles, there's all kinds of stuff on it. But um, again, that's not what this video is about, but I just wanted to like add some cushioning, okay? Because I, 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 wanna, I wanna solidify this thing that, you know, certain men do give you anxiety. It's just a normal thing, predator versus prey, whatever. We live in a society where there's a lot of violence. I'm not talking about my anxiety being like that life-threatening anxiety being around men, but I wanted to lay the grounds to say, I think women in general do operate with a heightened awareness about their safety when it comes to men. It's just the way the world is. And I do think that I got an extra little sprinkle of that, okay? Because if you grew up like me, you'll know what I'm talking about. You see, I came across this TikTok and it was a bit of a aha moment, an epiphany for me. You see, it's true. I do think that I used to put male interactions on a pedestal because of how intensely I was conditioned to not be caught talking to a boy or in the same room as one. And obviously that's gonna cause me anxiety because I would get in trouble for that. So I do wanna say that I don't 100% resonate with the TikTok though, because I did always get along with the boys in my school and my love life worked out just fine, so. Good for you. Maybe I'm not analyzing this well. Maybe I was one of those people who over romanticized interactions and stuff. Although I think men do that. I don't think women, I think like you're a little bit nice to a man and then he's like, she's in love with me. So um, I don't fully agree with the TikTok because I do think that it's a very nuanced and complicated topic. But I guess to add a different perspective to this, that's outside of me and my upbringing. I remember I went to a all girls Catholic private high school, right? And I remember this conversation being had even with those girls. Now my school wasn't like super, super conservative in terms of Catholicism. I don't think it was the most conservative. I actually think it was pretty liberal, but I remember a lot of those girls 
would act very differently around men when they would be in a situation where there would be men, totally different people. And um, there, you know, I had overheard some conversations about how some of these girls, they'd go off to college and it was like, they just went wild because they didn't experience anything with boys up until that point for a long time. And it's like, it's like the gates were just unlocked. And so, um, you know, they just, they just went all in, in that college, American college, you know, culture, like way hard. And I remember some girls in my class talking about younger girls from lower classes, not lower, but like younger classes and saying that about them. So that being said, I don't, I don't think it's just like, because I'm Muslim and I grew up that way. I think that this is kind of like an experience across the board. But anyway, going back to me, um, I feel like I got an extra flavor or a different flavor because by American standards, um, I grew up in a very strict conservative environment, both culturally and religiously. We're being super open, friendly, like totally showing your personality in front of strange men is not normal behavior. Like, like if you acted like that, people would be like, uh, she's the loose woman, you know? And I don't think that that's totally a bad thing because in cultures where women and men don't mix as openly, it's just how you act, okay? Like we all wanna go in to every culture, every country with our ethnocentrism and be like, that's weird, you know, but we all do it. But at the end of the day, different cultures, different different beliefs exist. Like these are cultures where like the normal American chit chatting, you know, that you would do with a male coworker or something, it would be interpreted as something else. So for me, if I see a man who's Muslim who I don't know, so I'm gonna gauge the situation and I'm gonna act accordingly. And I personally spent a lot of my life around more conservative people culturally and religiously. Like I think I've mentioned before that I went to religious school. So I was definitely conditioned to be a certain way around men, but, I don't want to paint everyone with the same brush stroke because it does vary culture to culture. It varies even family to family. Like the way that I act with my male extended family is very different than I've seen other people. Like even with my friends or even when I got married, like I felt like my husband's family was a lot more open and comfortable with each other, which is not something that I was used to because with some of my cousins, it's like, dude, I don't even, we don't even acknowledge each other. Like maybe we say salam and that's it. Like, you know, so, you know, with modesty culture, it kind of promotes this idea that men and women should act in a certain way in each other's presence. But I think that unfortunately girls are kind of taught this more and is drilled down a lot more because the consequences for them, if they act that way are more intense, they're more troubling, right? And so um, there's a difference between basic modesty and like, being an adult woman who is losing your shit and being uncomfortable around men and has heightened anxiety for like literally no reason, right? Because I I personally feel like that's a problem. And when it comes to adjusting yourself around men, I think that there's a people-pleasing aspect to it, like being overly conscious of how men will perceive you to the point where you become so quiet and completely erase your personality and don't feel comfortable to even like talk. That's not good right it's not your problem that if you laughed a little too loud that means that you're like a loose woman or something maybe you were just like really enjoying yourself and having a normal human experience or a human reaction to a story or a moment and that's the thing that i hate about it i really don't like that i do that but i think that right now i'm on a journey in general not only around men but just being okay with being myself and being less of a of a people pleaser because I think a lot of it was like conditioning but but there was something that I came across that alluded to women who you know they adjust their behavior around men I I saw something about them like a TikTok about basically calling them pick me's and in this time that we're living in that's like one of the biggest insults that you can throw at a woman insert clip of Sarah from love is blind and for those of you who don't know what a pick me is it's a girl it's a woman who is seeking validation from men but one who will do it at the expense of other women and I don't think that this is the case although there are some you know i do see this okay like the pick me girls who think they're better than other women because men validate how conservative they are i mean they exist for sure okay i'm not gonna go into details but i know people like that like they'll put down other muslim women but i don't think that um just because someone gets anxious around men and tailors her behavior to them you know because of how she was raised that's not an automatic pick me Okay, unless you make your identity about that and you're like, that woman was such a whore in front of them. 
look, I'm quiet and I become a shell of a human being. So anyway, here's my conclusive thoughts. Okay, for those of you who are maybe dealing with this and how I am coping or how I plan to deal with the anxiety that men give me. Okay, the first thing is that I am choosing to accept that this is normal and you don't have to center everything around men, okay? If I wanna talk, I will. But if I don't wanna talk, I won't. If I wanna show my personality, I will. If I don't, I won't. But whether they are in the room should not be the determining factor to me. Number two, um, that's easier said than done. So I'm gonna continue working on myself, right? Now, I feel personally that following artistic pursuits, becoming more comfortable in sharing your opinions, voicing them publicly, that's a great way to overcome some of the people pleasing. Um, and so you have to recognize those patterns first. Like, when are you doing this? Do you even notice when you're doing it? When are you making yourself small? And you have to be able to catch that in the moment and then either correct it or at least like mark it down. Like, oh, I'm seeing myself. I didn't do that today. Because at the end of the day, the world is full of men. So you're going to be chronically stressed if you are constantly anxious around men. And then the other thing is, I think suppressing who you are because they're there, that's a recipe for disaster long term. So I feel like you probably have some anxiety problems. So work on your anxiety in general. Figure out a way to manage it. Personally, I notice that the more happy and less stressed I am, the more I tend to be open and relaxed when I'm around people, even if they're people that I don't know that well. So just making more of that in life. Okay, and then also, this is a big one. I'm choosing to embrace the confusion that comes with being raised in opposite cultures slash environments. Like, I'm going to use it as a positive thing instead of letting it cause me so much anxiety. I don't, there's not a better word for it, right? All the code switching, all the, like, I choose to just go with the flow. So anyway, I would love to hear you guys' thoughts. Do you get anxious around men? Why or why not? Do you have advice for anyone who has anxiety around men? Um, and you know, if anybody has that special flavor of it, let me know. Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear you guys' thoughts. And um, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you. As always, I'll see you soon, inshallah. Okay, bye.